Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel Zeno Vision. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can fix texture loss within your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. With this, you won't have that map loss, street loss, roads and buildings that you disappear while driving around. Uh, this will be an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to fix this, so stay tuned. Before we get started, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started! Okay, to make this all work, we're gonna go ahead and download a file. You're gonna be needing ScriptOcV, which I assume you already have, but I will leave the link also in our Discord server. So I will leave a link of my Discord in the uh, description. You can visit it to get the two links that we will be visiting, but you can also just type them over as you will see the links right here on the screen. So let's hop over to my Discord. This is my Discord right here. Um, we're gonna go over to the category called GTA Fix Crashes and here we have the two links we're going to visit. Just to be clear, when you join our Discord, you do need to go, go to sub verification and verify yourself by sending a screenshot. And besides that, we also have a GTA install service remotely. We fix anything and we also install any kind of services or modifications. Uh, let's get back to GTA fix crashes and let's visit these two links. So these are the two links we are going to visit and just to be clear what it's going to be this file right here and this file will uh, give more memory of your pc to the game uh, there's a standard uh, uh, located memory that's reserved for the game uh, when you're installing a lot of modifications it could reach that limit which causes some texture loss this is how far i've been reading to it and with this file you can give it a more pc memory so that's what we're going to do today uh, let's go ahead to our downloaded files and open up our grand theft auto main directory folder so on our left side we have our grand theft auto main directory folder on our right side we have these two folders that we just downloaded so let's start with script v we're going to go within the this folder and we're going to select these two files that i select and we're going to drag and drop them in the main directory folder and we're going to hit on continue or replace if you already have it um, then we're going to go back we're going to go to the second one and we're going to open up this folder and we're going to select these two files and we're going to drag and drop them in the main directory folder and these two files you can open up this one right here double click on it and as you can see here we can actually add additional memory it is set to 1900 megabytes so that is enough for 8 gigabyte system uh, vram for me i have a 3070 so i can easily double it up um, i haven't tested it because the standard version of 1900 works for me if you are experiencing some lags slowness then you want to lower the setting for instance a thousand or 1100 and just test it out uh, so this means additional memory added besides the standard memory we also have a readme file right here um, you can read it and maybe it will give you a better clear of understanding here it says we've tested this on uh on, on these settings so that's about it. After you've done this, you can actually start up Grand Theft Auto and it will be fixed as it's been fixed for me. I have experienced some texture loss uh, with a lot of modifications. So this was very helpful, helpful for me and I hope it will also work for you. Um, again, besides that, if you're interested in any installation service like LSPDFR, um, any graphic modifications and you're lazy, we can do that for you remotely uh, through any desk. Uh, check out, check it out on our Discord. Send me a DM. Let me know what you think about it, and please also leave some comments. Uh, let me know if it worked for you, and always feedback is welcome. So I want to thank you all for watching, and have a pleasant day. Goodbye.